Hi, I'm Lindsay Evans and I'm a garden designer. When I'm not designing gardens, you'll find me out on my allotment or in my garden looking after my homegrown vegetables and my flowers. Even the tiniest space can be a garden and a cleverly designed small garden can look amazing. The key is to make use of the vertical space. Here are my tips for making use of every inch of space. If you're lucky enough to have walls in your garden or even a walled garden, you've got an immediate advantage. You can attach wall mounted troughs. Use the lightweight fiberglass versions. There are some really nice ones around these days. Plant them with a mixture of plants to give you year round colour. Installing a micro irrigation system is easier than it sounds and will ensure your planters remain healthy even when you're away. Trellis is excellent in a small garden. Use trellis closed in a mixture of ivies, clematis, climbing roses and jasmine for a year-round display of colour and scent. If you have a courtyard garden with no borders, use floor-mounted troughs and back with some trellis. Make use of your fences. Hang baskets and troughs from fence posts. You can also mount troughs along the tops of your fence panels, but make sure they're well secured. Plant climbers in the base of fence panels and support them with wires or trellis. There are any number of shrubs which will grow much better if they're tied back to a wall or a fence. Things like Garia elliptica, Fatshedra lisii, Ceanothus and Itea look really great when they're tied back to a fence. So these are perfect for when you've got limited space available. Create more vertical space by installing some uprights. Dig a hole 600 millimeters deep and 300 millimeters square. Place a 100 millimeter square post in the hole and fix it in with some postcrete. Now you have a 2.4 metre high hanger for pots and baskets. More than one in a line and you have the makings of a vertical garden even if you have no fences or walls. You can use this method to create a really interesting divider, a single rail pergola or the back of a built-in seat. Make sure that all your garden features are at least dual purpose. A built-in bench can have storage underneath it and a planter along the top of its seat back. Actually, that makes it triple purpose. If you think carefully, you can make all your garden elements work harder. Be highly selective with plants. Make sure that they are evergreen or long flowering, preferably scented, and if possible, both. Plants that don't perform must be ruthlessly culled. All plants count, and there's no room for nursing stragglers. So those are my top ideas for your small garden.